from WFSB. This is an Eyewitness News update. Hi, everybody. Thanks for joining us right now for some of the day's top stories. I'm Mark Zinni. We have the very latest right now on that fiery crash that happened on 95 in Norwalk very early Thursday morning. Demolition on the badly damaged bridge will start overnight, right around 3 in the morning, we're told, going into Friday morning's commute. The goal is to have 95 open again just in time for the Monday morning commute. The governor did file an emergency declaration. He said he hopes to get federal money to help cover the cost of replacing the bridge over the highway. We have also learned that schools in Norwalk will be closed tomorrow due to that crash. Protests continue on several campuses, including UConn and stores. This is commencement ceremonies are set to happen this weekend. Pro-Palestinian supporters demanding an end to the war and that UConn divest from Israel. Several other graduations are planned as well throughout the state. UConn said they're adding security. All right, Mark Dixon here in the First Alert Forecast Center with your latest seven-day forecast. For our Friday, we'll see a mix of sun and clouds. Temperatures more in line with what's typical for uh, early May, mid and upper 60s, inland cooler at the shoreline. About the same for Saturday, mostly cloudy. Saturday, certainly the better of the two weekend days as it will be dry. We've got a first alert for Sunday. Temperatures 10, nearly 15 deg degrees below average with increasing likelihood for rain. Then as we start next week, we're going back to dry, brighter, and warmer.